Hi, I'm Caroline and today we are going to take some movements really to create some space for our breath. So a sense of freeing up our breath to allow it to settle, to flow with a little bit more ease. As you can see, I'm just sitting in one of my favourite positions. It might not be yours at all. So making sure you find your comfortable position. And ideally, we'd like the knees to be level with our hips or our iliac crest, these pointy hip bones, if not a little bit lower. So I'm actually sitting on a yoga bolster today. I'm propped up with the yoga bolster. My legs could be crossed or as they were, I could be sitting on a pile of cushions. I could be kneeling if that's more comfortable for you. Um, or you might like to come to a chair, but just making sure it is a, a firm chair that you feel you can ground on with your feet flat on the floor. So whatever position you come to, a sense of your knees being level with or lower than your hips. And this is so your belly can expand freely. And we'll take a moment here just to allow our belly to relax. So I know that I hold my belly in quite a lot. So sometimes I have to remind myself and invite my belly area just to soften, to find a sense of ease in this area, allowing it just to almost spill out a little, finding length through your spine and softness in your shoulders. And if it's helpful, you may like to close your eyes, otherwise maybe softening your gaze and just taking a moment to notice our breath. So if it feels possible for you, breathing in and out through your nose. And we know there isn't a wrong or a right way to breathe. We breathe in and out through our mouth when we're talking and when we're eating. However, breathing in and out through our nose is, is more efficient. The nasal cavities warming our inhalation, humidifying it, and also cleansing our breath through the pockets of nitric oxide that are in our nasal cavities, but also through the nasal hairs in our nostrils. So all of these little things, making sure our inhalation is ready for our lungs to receive. Maybe noticing if you have any tension in your jaw area. It might be helpful to open your mouth wide. Even stick your tongue out as if you're trying to reach the floor. Softening into your jaw area. And if you find that you do suffer from clenching your teeth, grinding your teeth or a, a tightness in this area, you could also push your tongue into one side of your cheek. And roll your tongue around the inside of your mouth. softly and gently in your own way, releasing through your lower facial muscles. And a soft smile, a sign of a relaxed jaw, so if that feels possible, softness to your lips. And you might like to begin to encourage your inhalation to travel low. So as you breathe in through your nose, a sense of your breath reaching the lowest lobes of your lungs. And if it's helpful to guide your breath, you could take your hands to the lowest ribs. So I'm looking at the last two or three ribs here as they curve round a little. And I have my little fingers on the upper point or upper area of my abdomen, really just using my sense of touch here through my hands and my fingers to guide my breath. So as you inhale, this may be helpful as you find your inhalation, reaching your hands, your fingertips. Sense of your breath traveling down. This doesn't always come immediately. Often it takes a bit of practice and some days it's easier than others. So wherever your breath is traveling to, acknowledging that that is valid. That is where your breath is in this moment and that's okay. And 
if you are, using your hands to guide your breath, inviting your arms, your hands to rest. As we come into some gentle movements to find space and create space in our upper body. So beginning to take your right hand down towards the floor. If you're sitting on a chair, you might like to take hold of the side of the chair, gently leaning over towards your right hand side. And there doesn't need to be much weight in the wrist. You could even make a very soft, gentle fist if that feels more comfortable for you. Keeping this openness in the shoulder, so just noticing if your, your left shoulder's dropping a little, trying to keep the space here for our breath. And then you might like to take your left hand to the side of your rib cage, directing your breath here. And there's the possibility of going a little further, a little deeper, maybe even feeling into the hip or glutes area, or making it a little bit softer. And maybe if you'd like to, you reach up and over with your left hand. And noticing perhaps that I've got a soft elbow, everything's re relatively relaxed. Rather than creating rigid shapes, we're inviting a sense of ease, a sense of softness. Gently coming back to centre in your own time. And then moving towards the left hand side. So exactly the same movement. Finding your shape on this side. Maybe you take your right hand to the side of your rib cage, Breathing into your hand. And possibly going a little deeper if it feels good for you. And then another option might be to reach up and over. And when you're ready, slowly coming back to your upright central position. I'm going to take a moment to turn to the side so you can see and follow me if you would like to. So I'm going to begin to work through the shoulders a little bit here. I'm going to begin here by just simply tucking my chin towards my chest. So it might be a little bit, but there's also the notch just between the collarbones. You might like to take your chin to the notch, feeling a little bit of a stretch around the, the neck, perhaps the tops of your shoulders. It might be nice to close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. And breathing here. When you're ready, slowly bringing your head back to centre. And we'll take our head towards our right hand side. So when you're ready, taking your gaze towards the right. And again, it could be just a little, it could be a bit more. You may want to look over your right shoulder. Just again, inviting a sense of ease. So nothing strange, nothing painful. Gently bringing your head through centre and over towards the left hand side. And mindful that perhaps your head goes only so far on one side. We're not symmetrical when we often use one side of our body a little bit more than the other. And that can sometimes be tighter side. And when you're ready, gently bring your head back to centre. And then you might like to clasp your hands, clasping your hands softly and reaching away. And I'm going to begin to round my back. So it's almost a sort of conscious hunching over. 
almost as if I'm trying to pull my shoulder blades apart. I'm going to be here for around four to six breaths, coming out earlier if it's uncomfortable in any way. In your own time, easing out slowly, gently. And then finding your hands clasping behind your pack. And an option is to take hold of opposite wrists if that feels more comfortable for you. Then I'm going to begin to slowly reach away. It's almost this time as if I'm trying to bring my shoulder blades together. So my heart is lifting a little. You could take your gaze upwards if that feels comfortable for your neck. Trying, if possible, not to lock the elbows. So again, there's a, a sense of ease and softness in the joints. And then when you're ready, slowly easing out and coming back to your starting position. So. If you have moved, finding the position you began in, really as a, as a reference point. You might like to become aware of your jaw, softening through your jaw area, shoulders soft. And once again, connecting with your breath, if possible, breathing in and out through your nose. And if guiding your breath with your hands was helpful, you might like to take your hands to your lowest ribs again. Guiding your breath down low. I'm taking a moment here to acknowledge any changes. So you may find there's a little bit more ease to your breath, perhaps softness or fluidity. Or when you're ready, relaxing your hands, if you were using your hands to guide your breath. And if your eyes are closed, taking your time, perhaps to bow your head gently, tucking your chin, opening your eyes when you feel ready and bringing your head back to center. So if we haven't moved very much or we have moved a lot or had a, a poor posture over a desk or done lots of exercise and cycling can leave us a little bit tight in the shoulders, whatever it might be, it's just becoming aware of where our lungs are and that actually if the muscles around our lungs and therefore the connective tissue get tight get dehydrated, then that can possibly restrict our breath. So taking a little bit of time, if that feels possible for you, to take some movement in the upper body, create some space, and almost free the breath to be a little bit more fluid. 